Well, thanks for watching this video. This is Len from HLP Controls. And what we're doing is we're just doing some videos to show people how to use some of our products uh, and especially answer questions that people ask. So the product this time is the Medilog. Now this unit has been designed to be used for medical and vaccine fridges. So what it is, is a small unit, comes with a probe. The probe is on a three meter wire. So that's what the probe looks like, it's waterproof. The wire is thin enough to go through a door seal of a fridge without um, letting in any cold air. So you can put the unit on the outside of the fridge and this can be run through the door seals into the back of a cool room or a fridge or whatever it is. And obviously we advise putting the sensor in the middle of the fridge so you get a, an, an accurate representation. With this unit, the Medilog, uh, it's got an advantage that the probe is replaceable. So if it gets broken, you can just plug in a new probe. It comes with, that's the packaging, it comes with a self-adhesive um, probe holder. So a little holder that will hold that probe in place and a suction cap for holding the probe so you can place it in different fridges. The beauty of the Medilog is that it's because it's been designed for vaccine use, it actually comes preset with the alarm settings for the recommended vaccine storage by the World Health Organisation and most of the Australian health authorities, that being between 2 and 8 degrees C. All right, so this is the close-up of the face of the Medilogs um, unit. This is one that's designed for um, fridge use for medical vaccine storage, uh, medical blood storage. So it's got some distinct advantages over a normal min-max thermometer. Firstly, the top display shows the temperature on the outside of the probe. So that probe, which will have, is on a three metre wire, can go inside the fridge. This stays on the outside and it's got a magnetic and a screw hanger as well as a little stand. So it can be magnetically stuck on the fridge, it can be hung on a screw, or it's got a little stand. It also has a double-sided Velcro pack that comes with it for mounting. So with this unit, the top display shows the temperature, and if that was in the, inside the refrigerator, then that would be the temperature in the fridge. It shows the settings at the top of that, which are 8 and 2 degrees, which are the alarm settings, which are, are already built into the unit. So looking at those, it says the 8 is actually flashing because it's letting me know now that the actual temperature in the fridge is above 8. So I can see at a glance that it's high and the high alarm is going. So what happens is if the unit is in and it's operating and the temperature goes outside the range, which I'll just reset the unit so we can show what happens there. So if the temperature is outside the range, it will actually alarm. It flashes the high alarm um, LED inside there to show you that it's actually high. It says that it's 23 degrees. Now the bottom display is going to show me how long the unit is out of temperature. So if the unit is out of temperature for one hour and 20 minutes, the bottom display will show 120. Now that will keep beeping like that um, for as long until somebody comes and resets it. The beauty of this unit is it's quite intelligent. It will beep like that for a period of 30 minutes. Then it will realize that maybe it's after hours, there's no one around. so it will delay the beeps and will only beep once every 10 seconds. If after a period, it then decides there's no one around, so it beeps once every 30 seconds. The reason it does that is so it prolongs the battery life. So the battery will last a long time and will also be, if it was over a whole weekend, that will alarm over a whole weekend and still be available for you on Monday and it will still be alarming. So if you notice it's alarming, you can push the alarm silent button and that will silence the alarm. It only silences the current alarm. If it then comes back into temperature, 
and then goes back out of temperature, it will alarm again and it will start beeping again. So the beauty of this unit is that it has the preset alarms. The alarms are audible and it shows you how long the alarm has been running or how long it's been out of temperature in hours and minutes, which is um, very good. And it's everything that's required by the immunisation people. You also have um, some other buttons. To reset the min-max and the alarms, you push the two buttons together and hold them for five seconds and then that will reset the unit. If you want to see the min maximum, you push this top button where it says min max. Push that once and it shows max and it gives you the maximum temperature that your unit's reached since it's been reset. If you push it again, it then says the minimum temperature that the unit's got to. So that means that it'll tell you what the minimum maximum were in the fridge whenever you push that button. You push it again, minimum max go away and it's just nothing there it still says that it's in alarm because this is obviously at 23 degrees and it's above 8 and you'll notice that the time here is incrementing it's now up to 4 so that's 4 minutes that it's been out of temperature range so the things if you come into a, your surgery and the vaccine fridge has died sometime over the weekend and you wanted to you need to find out what the maximum temperature it reached and how long it was there. So you can come to this unit, you can say it's a high temperature, you can go maximum temperature 23.2 and at the time will tell you how long it's been there. That might It says four minutes now, but it might say two hours and four minutes or ten hours and four minutes or, or just one or two minutes. So that's the Medilog, that's how it works. Very simple to use. Um, and very versatile in monitoring vaccine temperatures. Thanks.